I think she's a disgrace, and I think it proves that the Me Too movement cuts both ways, and we should be skeptical about someone who rushes to the media. I'm not saying we shouldn't investigate and believe, but just because some showboat like Christine Moore says, Massimo Pissetti raped me. No, he didn't. Yeah. You went to his hotel, you brought the condoms, and you never said no, and you are just being a crazy woman. And two things about that, Ezra. First of all, um, let's give her the benefit of the doubt. Let's pretend there was no explicit consent. I don't know what that means these days. It shouldn't bring out a clipboard with legalese language where you check off, uh, you, I'm hereby authorizing you to do this, this, and this. But um, what she did in terms of the soldier, plying him with gin, when he, she knew he was on all these meds. And he objected, and he said, yeah. I'm on meds, I can't do it. And following him, you know, and, and, and you know, forcing herself upon, that's one thing. The second thing, and it's something that just occurred to me as you were talking about her nursing background, Ezra, I don't know what the, you know, the professional standards are for being a registered nurse in, in, in Canada. Um, I'm wondering if she has ethically breach those standards, and this means a disciplinary hearing where she'll lose those credentials, perhaps. That's very interesting. I don't know if she's still registered as a nurse with the College of Nurses or whatever it would be called, um, and I don't know if she, uh, if there's all, not just ethics about plying someone with alcohol when they're on meds, but taking personal advantage. I mean, uh, if a doctor takes advantage of a patient, because of the power imbalance, yes. and so, well, you have to sleep with me. It's part of your therapy. therapy. I mean, that's been that's a line that's been used more yes. than once. And I mean, psychiatrists, psychologists sometimes do that. They can lose their credentials over that. Did this nurse? I don't know if she's still registered a nurse. Not only did she give bad medical advice. Here, have some booze while you're on meds. Did she also put herself in a position of, you know, nurse patient authority and and take advantage of him not just medically but ethically? as well. I think she's a disgraceful woman, yeah. and therefore I think she's a perfect fit for today's NDP. Hey, that was an excerpt from my show, Rebel Roundup, where we discuss the week's top stories with your favorite rebels. To see my show and more, sign up to become a premium member today.